All right, since we don't got no intro, I'm gonna call this Frankie EP Volume One. How you like my new mic? We love it. Did you? Yeah. Uh, well, you what? said it's new. I was gonna say, did you? Uh, you didn't have it last this time. Makes me did. feel like a real reporter right now. But uh, the host that doesn't do the most, B Sim. That's me. How right, you doing? Can't clap. Everybody got clap. Clap for phone. me. Everybody clap for me. You don't want these cards? Send me. Yep. He got his dreads now. Dread Sim. Swinging nowhere. I want these cards, Ooh. man. Yeah, well, a lot of people want them cards because they lost Saturday. <laughs> uh, we won about uh, 24 yesterday. What's yeah. up? For the first episode, official episode, we got a special guest in the building. Chris Dow. Daddy. You say something about Chris Dow to you people that just don't know who Chris Dow is. Appreciate you having me, dog. No, appreciate for, you for coming, Hollywood. Big time. Uh, he ain't Hollywood, but you big time. Security outside. Chris <laughs> is, I think, the best player in Louisville, Kentucky right now. And I told him this last summer. Overall, I'm talking about uh, over d Rondo. Right now in his prime, he's the best player from Louisville, Kentucky. He went to Eastern. He played at Eastern. Won a champ national championship at Bellarmine. And has been overseas since. I think he's an NBA player. And I've seen him go up against NBA players. He's real competitive. Chris is like a... Chris is like a little brother, our little cousin, our little nephew to like everybody. You know how everybody got like, oh, what's up, unk? Chris is like little brother to like everybody. He's just like... like, like nephew. Like, you know what I'm saying? And... uh. I've seen him play against Ronald. I don't know if you've seen him play against like top talent, but he's he's a dog. Bro. He tried to dunk on me one day, bro. Did I? Yeah. I moved. <laughs> <laughs> Cold move. Huh? <laughs> so where are you playing at now, Chris? I'm in, uh, in Poland. Poland? Yeah. How's that going? Seventh season. Team is in second place right now. We just won uh the Polish Cup. So it's like seventh a season? Seventh season overseas. So we just won uh Polish Cup. Uh it was like an end season tournament. Uh, so we did that as like their first time winning in like 14 or 15 years. And right now I'm back in the city on break, enjoying my last day before I go back tomorrow. Damn, so being in the league for, I mean, being in the league for seven years, that's that's quite a feat because consistency is everything. So to say that you've been consistent for seven years as a professional athlete, talk a little bit about that and like how hard, how much work you got put into do that. Because a lot of people, you know, they want to play basketball professionally, but they don't see, like, everything that you have to do. I know they see, like, the highlights and shit, but all the work you have to do to be a professional athlete for that long. Yeah, I mean, where everybody wants to start off, like, everybody think it's about money and just want to start off making, like, crazy amount of money. Mm -hmm. So if I told you how much money I made my rookie year, you would you would laugh. You'd be like, what? You went over there for that? Like, for real? so I started, I had to start small. You know, I came from D2, it's a small school, so... And as long as you know me, you talk about, like, see what I got on right now, like the DCTG, like, don't, don't cheat the grind. grind. Right. So I actually, CDR started at my rookie year. Mm -hmm. And I, I already liked them at Memphis, like, the years Dog. before. Yeah. You know so CDR? CDR, Chris Douglas Roberts, the one yeah. that played with, um, Derrick, Derrick Rose at Memphis, Coach Cal. He was uh, a fucking dog. So, yeah, yeah. So that was one of my favorite players. And then, so I used to just follow him and he had, like, a YouTube, you know, channel or whatever he used to post stuff and then he started that and then i just fell in love with it it's like a lifestyle so uh just work just don't cheat the grind just trying to get better every year and uh i don't know just keep working man that's that's all that's all you can do what um like so hard work don't cheat the grind because you i'm pretty sure cause I, i'm big on like we talk about this all the time like parenting like where you came from and you grew up and you know this is actually uh chili's and ashley is a uh, actually his auntie, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. how much uh, like hard work would you contribute to like seeing your parents, maybe your dad, and like just instilling that hard work to like even when you seen like a little contract overseas? Most people be like, man, fuck this. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm going, you know what I'm saying? Well, like, just stick to they it. like in high school they told I ain't never worked like a regular nine to five. They mm -hmm. they told me like, you long as you hooping, you yeah, know, going you to school, to, you ain't got it. Yeah. Got so support, you just focus yeah. on yeah, you just focus on those two things and. You know, like you, you good. So uh, that, that's all. That's all that's I've been doing. That's important, but they still had to raise a discipline enough. Yeah, to, yeah, you know, for sure, for sure. I mean, I was cool. People like, go to work every day. Yeah, you, you, you. This is your job. My job, right? And you have to go to work. You can't, you know, just don't be sick days for real. You know what I'm saying? Some days you might not feel like going to practice. Or think about some days. Man, like that's all basketball. the time. I don't feel like going. I don't feel like going back tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel like going to. back tomorrow, but I got to. So this, this break was actually good for me because I ain't even thinking about basketball. Little breaks like basketball. that overseas. People don't know. You, you get paid to play basketball all the time, and 
if you do it so much, this those little breaks to see family yeah. push you overseas. You get like, burnt out. Talk about Easy. what it's like playing yeah, overseas. Like, being yeah, a like how is overseas. it like with not being able to see like your family? So how's that? How's like like that? you, the, all all you can do is uh like try to get people to visit. That's that's literally all you have. That mm -hmm. and if you fortunate enough like now to get a break, because sometimes people don't like some teams don't let their players get a break because they know how. You know, people are when they get home, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, people relax. get home, start partying, or yeah, like yeah. around their friends, and oh, yeah, they get comfortable, don't want to go back. So, uh, I can see that happening. Yeah, you get oh, back. Like, what, all the time. Yeah, yeah, all the time, bro. It's I've just, seen a lot of players do that, as a matter of fact. Like, a lot. Like, you'll be surprised how many players, like, go over there, and then they come right back, or just any situation, even like college, whatever. Yeah, like, not, it, for not you even to stick that, not for even you basketball. to stick it out at, because, um, and this is, I'm going off, but for you to stick it out at Bellarmine, because I've heard, nah, I'm not from you, but I've heard that. Coach um, um Coach Gavinport is a very very hard coach to play for. I know a lot of players who really like after the playing for him don't like him. Like they say he's a horrible coach, and for you to to stick out four years and win a national championship, even though I know it was probably difficult at times, says a lot because most people would have quit and went somewhere else. My freshman year, I had to sign a contract. Like you guys, sit, you guys sit in the first two rows of the class. Um, you can't talk back in practice. If you talk back in practice, you kicked out of practice. If you do it like the second time, you suspend it for the game, blah, blah, blah. Dang. So I remember my freshman year, I was suspended when we played Cincinnati. You got suspended? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, bro. In high school, like, you know, I, like, I used to have a real bad attitude. Yeah, and then, But I've also always played for tough coaches. So, mm -hmm. like, Davenport, I mean, like, I've been, I had already been through it. So... It was just like, like whatever. But, but do you, so I took my, I took my, you know, my L's and my punches on the chin. Do you appreciate that though? Yeah, for sure. Cause especially in the pro level, cause European coaches are worse. What? They like, they crazy is, dog. Is that like they a language crazy. barrier though? Or is it like? No, nah, it's not even English? that. They just like the way that they like. Their approach. Taught, yeah, their approach and like, I'm, like they crazy dude. Like their tactics and. Everything is just like different. Like overseas, like European basketball is totally different from what we used to. That's why you see like uh, the FIBA team, the US FIBA teams, and some of the players struggle when they play against like the Spanish teams and all of that because the basketball is different. Like the court's smaller. They have like little, little different rules and they more physical. They let you play a little more and not everybody can adjust to that. Hmm. But, uh, oh, who was I about to ask you? <sighs> Shit. Davenport. How, how do the people treat no, you over there? Not uh, I mean, like everywhere I've no, been, no, no. It's, it's, it's been all love. Like everybody, no, say, every, everybody show all support and you know love, and they love like they love the team. Like for the most part, you know, because I've been on some really good teams, and then I've been on also a couple bad teams. As long as you like out there, you know, like playing all out, like they they cool, they'll live with the results. But if you just out there like half assing and you just have to like you don't care. It look like you plan for your numbers and stuff. Then the uh, teams they don't like that, so you might get cut. Whatever. Like I've seen that happen plenty of times. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna ask you. Um, you, I remember reading about when Russ Smith went over and he had like hit hard. Just going perfect. Exactly. It's yeah. funny that you say that because that's the example I was gonna use because mm -hmm. I know all of y'all familiar with yeah. Russ. You know how good Russ is. Right. Yeah. Like, like yeah. Like Ru yeah. Russ, Russ, man. Sixty. What? Like <laughs> Russ is like. For sure, NBA talent, but he went overseas and the way he plays don't really don't translate. Yeah, it don't it don't really fit. And on top of that, his coach was crazy as hell. So it's like after every game, man, because I remember when Russ first went over there, I was happy for him because he used to he'll tell you, like being it's like tug and pull as far as the uh NBA and D League. Mm -hmm. Well, it's then D League with him. Mm -hmm. He is like well, Russ can't pass, okay? So he's like, he led the D League in assists or whatever. Like, well, and he's also scoring. Like, he set the little scoring record. So he he felt like he was always getting called up and then sent back down to prove something that he felt like he had already right proved. Yeah. So yeah. he's like getting depressed. So when he yeah. finally went overseas, I was happy for him because, you know, we saw the same thing with Peyton. And now look at Peyton. Like, Peyton love it over there. And he's... I just want to ship too, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. they won the same Turn thing it. we won except for his country in Germany. So... Uh, Russ, when he went over there, like like I said, the way he plays, he's not really a true point guard. You just yeah. put him out there. And you kind of got to let Russ play. You can't, can't try play. to shackle him up and, you know, try to but give that, him. That, that playing style is not really 
like that overseas, is it? Like, nah, ice, ISO ball and all yeah. that. Nah, in, in certain countries, but like Europe ain't one of them. Uh, like, and more so in like China. Oh, yeah, because uh, yeah, people be going crazy over it. Like, going crazy. Stephon Marbury is a damn legend. Yeah, over there. so it's like. Don't he got like a statue over there? got a statue over there. Like, Stephon Marbury is the man over there. Like, he yeah. ain't come that's back. A, that's where a lot of the NBA players go. Like, yeah. for one, because they, they get the money that they used to. Mm -hmm. So. It's like people making meals over there and like just great contracts and their season's only six months. So when they finish their season, mm -hmm. they can still get picked up by NBA team. Yeah. On top of that, the coach is just like, it's a lot of work like, like here, like, take it, shoot, shoot 50 shots. That's why you be seeing all them. It's like being at a job and just working oh, he's going to Puerto Rico now, right? Is so, that, and that's I'm another, there. that's another place though, where they'll let him, uh, where? Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico uh, just sign. Yeah, he just signed to Puerto Rico, Who? so shout out to Bro. Russ. Who? Signed to Russ. Hey, B, he know those songs, yeah. B. Hey, the host that's been doing a little most. I'm okay, see yeah. you with the information over. Hey, one time for my nigga B. Sim. I right. got that for the Jake Sparks, man. Okay, one thank, time thank. for my nigga B. Sim for actually, knowing yeah. that, man. He How much did he make? He signed recently. How much did he make? I don't want to know you don't want these cards. You want to blurt out some shit. When I talked to Russ, he he didn't want to disclose Oh, so you got inside sources. Yeah, he didn't want me to disclose it. B. Sim sources. Get the fuck out of here. Don't hate me. Talk about overseas. The last time that I did have you on the show, like we had, we talked to that dude Spencer, right? Remember yeah. That? And we then saw he got talking about Luca, up, right? Huh? We was talking yeah, about Luca. Yeah, he got picked up by uh, Yahoo Sports. Oh, okay. That's mm -hmm. dope. Based off the shit we was That's doing. That's dope. Actually. That's dope. And um, he, you know, you put us on Luca because remember I was big on Trey. He was like, man, Luca's his dog. So. With these you see it now though, right? Huh? Yeah, you was you called it. You you did. So you played against Luke? Or you nah, I didn't play you against him, he's but over I'm just, in that yeah, league, I'm over. Th I'm over there, so like he was telling me, like, dude, he, like for him to be killing over here like, like this, he's Frank, grown, like grown listen, man, he's, you know what I'm saying? It's I was like, kind of like this with him. I was a Trey Young guy, you know, like the highest, the the best yeah, league outside the uh, the NBA. The he's in Spain and he's no, in the best no. league outside the NBA. Like sp the Spanish players are the best player, like. Outside of you know Americans, of yeah, course, Spanish. The, the Spanish players are the best players in the he's world. He's not Spanish, is he? He's not Spanish, but he's in the he was in that yeah, league. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Like he played for Real Madrid, which is like everybody know who Real Madrid is. Yeah, you know, of course. Yeah, historically, yeah. like the biggest club Football in Spain for yeah, yeah, yeah. For, you know what I'm saying. So he was starting. He was the best Barcelona, player on right? the team. Is that Barcelona. Uh, they're in that they're okay. Spain too, but yes, they, like they rivals. So he's. Starting the best player on that team with people who's making like yeah. a mil, at two that, mil, eight hundred, nine hundred thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like getting triple doubles in forty minute games. Like now, you know NBA, everybody getting triple doubles. It's forty eight minutes. The game a little different. And yeah. also, when you get an assist in the league, it's like you could take like three drills. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, some yeah. of the assists is like wow. In yeah. Europe, it's like you gotta catch a shoot or you maybe get one dribble. And he was just flat out dominate, making people fall, hitting game winners, and he has swag yeah, about everything you see now. now. And I think with his success is who I want to talk to you next about was uh Denny Avija. <coughs> is that say right? I think so. Denny is Denny a Denny I think Avija? It's, I think it's Denny. Denny, yeah, Denny. Denny Avija is projected top five pick. He is plays that fast one guard. Player. You show him. Yeah, he's six yeah. nine, six nine. He could play like. They say they experienced him with one over a little bit, but he's really like a three. He could play like yeah. all four, especially like small ball. Three. He's uh he's fast in the open court. He's a really good transition player. He's uh he can shoot. Uh he's a really good pick and roll player. Yeah. He drives he drives left. He's a lefty. No, he's not nah, left, he, but he likes he to like drive, drive left. left. Yeah, he likes to drive left a lot. Yeah, I guess um, that's, that's normal. And uh in today's NBA, he could play, I guess, to me, one through four, especially with the small ball. I haven't seen him play, I know. <clears throat> You have have you played against him? Yeah, I played okay, against you have him. Like three you have experience playing or four against times. him. What do you do when he plays him? He's yeah, young, you like he just turned. I guess he just turned eighteen. Okay, so yeah. he speaks really he good made English. His too. name off of uh, like the U at like the the national team stuff. So it's like he was okay. playing. He was playing up because at the time he was like sixteen or whatever. Mm. He was playing with like 18, 18 and under. And he was helping his country, like Israel. He was leading them, you know, real deep in the thing. And yeah. he was getting, like, triple doubles and everything. So that's kind of how he made his name. And then he's playing for Maccabi, which is Maccabi, okay. best team in Israel, them in Jerusalem. Okay. So he's been, uh, they would, like, put him out there because, you know, he got great players around him. Yeah. They kind of just let him, like, feel his way out. So uh, he starts at the three, I believe. He has a really good post game too. Yeah, like I mean, I guess what they like about him, he's a big, you know what I'm saying. He fits perfect in today's game. Like, what NBA team could you see him 
I don't know. Today, if you had uh, to pick, Any, is he a top five pick to you in di- in today's class? In, t- in this draft? I mean, I don't watch much college basketball, but like, but he, I mean, today it's like NBA they basketball. love Europeans. Is he an NBA player to you? Like, can he, will he have success at the next level? You I mean, think? Sure, you could. You could. You yeah. Have, you don't sound like you really. Because I don't like, I don't. You played against him. You don't but, seem like I mean, sold. With, it's like Luca, you know, and with him on his team, he's more like a role. Like right now, he's like a role player. So but Luca, see, Luca was does. just the dog. He was yes, just, yes. So yeah. you don't get no Luca vibe. So we're not getting no <clears throat> another Luca Doncic out of it. Like not to, ex- you don't know what to expect. Like Luca is like you know Luca is a franchise player. I don't know if somebody's drafting him. I don't him look him as a franchise. The, I can see him being saying. a good role player. Like that's what I'm saying. I compare him to like his, a 2020. Tony Two, Tony Kukoc. His role is gonna be the same as it is right now. So, but he's a good field player. That's a good glue guy to nah, have. Nah, for sure. That more times, what's his more defense times like? Not, I mean, he's That's Quincy AC. Yeah, Quincy AC. They got Tariq Black. They got Tyler Dorsey. Damn. Nate Walters. Um, so what's he did? He just kind of Scotty like Scotty Wilbekin. Scotty Wilbekin. Triple drive, DHOs and shit. He he attacks like what he attacks off the closeout. He can pass the ball. He got good size and he can handle it a little bit. What's his DHO like, though? That's what I want to know. I don't know what that is. Dribble handoff. Okay. What Dribble you, handoff. <laughs> That's what that means. <laughs> I know all types of terms. He looked uh, like what's his uh, EFG? What? Yep. Yep. Deep, what, D- you said DFG? Yep. You said EFG or DFG? E- EFG. E? E-F-G yep. Efficiency? Don't worry about it. Effective uh, field goal percentage? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so, Effective front you goal. Been, you've been on synergy too long, man. <laughs> but I do like him because I watched his interview yesterday. He actually got like a little swag. He speaks good English too. Like he speaks like good English. And he's yeah. real like swaggy. He would be like one of them dudes you'll see like one of them stores. Like, hey, what's up, B? What's up, man? What's up, man? I mean, what's up, man? Yeah, Israel's like real Americanized oh, too. Oh, okay. So. That I explained. Yeah, like, I mean, plus everybody nowadays pretty much like knows English. So it's he not really like he's moving faster than everybody out there though. He's fast, and he he said he's fast, and he's a lot of nah, people. He can, he can play. Like, see, he's, um, I think he's, he's only like eighteen. So, so fast, two more people I wanted to ask you about was Theo Maladon and Killian Hayes. Have you played against either one of them? Killian Hayes, but he ain't, he didn't really get in. He was like he Killian, was he was like seventeen at the time. Did I put Killian's highlights over? No, no, you had it on the other one. Shit, Killian, I'll play it in the video. Killian is a dice dude. I showed you. He's like a lefty. I'm gonna give you he D-Lo, plays like give a you D-Lo, D-Lo, D-Lo vibes. Nah, D-Lo, he's fucking. T- he's the one that made Peyton Siva fall the other day. I Shout out to my, my guy. I ain't Peyton. see that. Peyton seen it. He ain't seen it. Either. Yeah, he commented. it. Peyton probably Little had the most comments fall, on there. Man. Listen, the fact fall. that Peyton recognized, like, he was the first person to comment. Yeah, on be, that post. It's funny because somebody else had just posted. Yeah, it. The, it the, was, that, where, uh, we did, where I got it from, he commented on them too. Was it? Was it across the water or was it Swiss cultures? One no, of it was across the water. It was across the water. Yeah, they 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 blowing up over there too. Uh, they be showing love. But, That's because um, it's a it's a oh, overseas. overseas. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for sure it's going. Yeah, you showing love. Um, if you over it, yeah, if you could build that because you never Tyler know what you're doing right there, huh? Tyler Dorsey right there. Yeah, we so play, we play them in the preseason. So Keelan Hayes and Theo Maladin. As a, as don't know it, much about Maladin. He played he played with AJ. He I only saw like a like Tony one, Parker vibe. I only saw like one clip. I just know he's like six I five and to, long. I talked to people that played against him. You know who I'm talking about. Maladon. He said he didn't like him. Didn't like Maladon. I don't know. I don't know much about him. I've only saw like one clip, and that What's was on Swiss cultures. Keelan is a dog, though, right? Yeah, he's good. Like, so he gonna he's the best D-Lo point guard in the draft to me. I think period. D-Lo, D-Lo shoot better. D-Lo does of course, him, yeah. but he, I he, think he, he, he Hayes is all right. Might be a little more aggressive attacking the rim. He Hayes is the best point guard he, coming in, in the draft. Yeah, he's, yeah. Well, they got him like number two, or number three. I two saw it last time I saw it's they like had him. him it's like Anthony. Mello. Yo, what you think? Oh, Mello. Mello. Think he's better than Mello? Then Mello? He's yeah. playing better competition. Yeah, he's playing better competition. He's a dog. And the defense they play over, like he's not gonna see that type of defense in the NBA because they be smothering that little nigga, bro. Like they be on him, picking up so, full court. Like it's so overseas, yeah. yeah they that, not gonna call foul. And, and it was saying like for him to handle this ball pressure at that age, and what the pressure they're putting on him, and the reason he's, he's making composed. outside of double team, double teams and stuff will translate to the NBA level really good. Yeah, his, his pops is uh, American, from what I understand. Yeah, he's from Florida. Yeah, his pop, his pops is American. He's from so. Florida. I remember seeing the first time I saw him play. It's like when I was when I was in France a couple years ago, uh, before the. The, the pros play, it's like the, the younger team play, so it's like, I don't know, they go up to like age 20 or something. Okay. And his team, first of all, his team was like 22 and 0 or something. So his team, his okay. younger team yeah. was just cooking everybody. He was, he was, 
And I, I, I like, like him, man. Like in this he, week draft, he's he like he got he got the swag and he everything. Got everything. You know, he got the love, the little one leg mm-hmm. sleeve, and he's yeah, lefty. He, he, yeah, he's he don't look. There. Yeah, he, he got it all. Yeah, he's out. He there passed the eye like, test. Yeah, he definitely passed the eye test. And he's he, but he, he can't go size. right a lot though. Nah, he's strong left. Strong left. Yeah, like, he don't even he don't even try to like switch that like change pace or nothing when he's driving. Yeah, that's another strong, thing I like strong him. left. Yeah, I don't know how athletic he is, but. Uh, right. He can. He's I know right. he can. He can handle the rock for sure. He can pass it, and he can score. Like I said, D'Lo can shoot much better. I'm but trying to think of somebody I can compare him to. If he's six five, he's a big guard. I'm trying to give y'all some like y'all can know like what he might be like at the next level. Oh yeah, Victor Oladipo. Nah, different body type, different game. The closest you James can get Harden. Is, closest you gonna get is D'Angelo. D'Lo man. slash James Harden. James Harden. James, James Harden, Harden, big guard. He's six five, big guard. You talking about two twenty? You see, you see James he, Harden. Uh, for one, you he's see a, Harden. Can I say something? For Bouncing one, can I, like, <laughs> can I say you something? Can I say something? For Harden. one, can I say something? For one, he's only a kid and he has room to grow. He's Harden only was 18, already 19. like that. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. Harden always been husky. Harden's overrated. Oh, right. Harden always been Harden's husky. What? Bro. Say it. Nah, you good. Now transitioning to another topic, okay? And uh, I would like to take a break here and say. This episode is sponsored to you by Trippy Smoke Shop. Trippy Smoke Shop, Chevrolet Road. Make sure you uh, guys go over and visit it out for you nice, uh, good little smokes. But uh, speaking of trippies, I need to smoke myself. But uh, we had an interesting conversation yesterday on the telephone, you and I, Diddy. And me and B, we have interesting telephone calls all the time too. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. We're gonna talk about B's that. probably on my side already. One about, of the things I want you to that? talk about is cutting your goddamn hair off. Nope. Okay. Don't worry about me. What do you think about this hair? Can I ask you a question? All right. Come on over here, cameraman. Just real quick. Now you ain't cameraman. You just chilling. But come to the camera, bump. This is just real quick. What's up, bump? What's up? Please don't touch my mic. My fault. My fault. <laughs> How long have you known Sam? Uh, about what do you think about him? What do you think about his hair? Look at his hair. You like the new style? You like where he's going with it? Did he? Do you like where B's going with this? I do. I'm all for it, man. Look, 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 he's he shaking it up new. in here. Yeah, he's trying something new. I just sat on one early. When it get hot, he's going to get tired of it. When it get hot, <laughs> though. He's so, hot outside, he's going to get tired of it. Next subject. You need anybody to chime into this. The, the, bump. You watch NBA? 30 minute. Uh, a little bit. 30 minute appointment is going to turn into an hour and a half. I know. No. Hair get too long. You're going to get boy. sick of me and cut yeah. it off for a minute. Yeah, <laughs> for upkeep. Sure. It looked good, but then the upkeep, you have to do it more. You know what I'm saying? Because oh, it gets Amari played for them now, by the way. With who? Denny. Amari just... started Amari? Yeah, he just got signed. Oh, really? Not too long ago, yeah. Amari played for them. He's straight. He's, st- he's still, Amari's still solid. If you were an NBA team, who would you rather have on your team as a point guard? Starting point guard. Dame. Dame Lillard or Kyrie Irving. Dame Lillard. Now, let, let me just say before we get Dame started Lillard. with this, okay? I'll let you two guys go. Go ahead. You pick Dame Lillard over Kyrie. Why? Good question. Kyrie's injury prone, first of all. Other than injury prone, why? I just like Dame's game, bro. What? I, like, cause I just like everything about Dame, bro. The way he can pull up from deep and get to the rack. He can do everything, bro. I love Dame. Why do you like Dame over Kyrie? I think he. I mean, I think he's a better. He's a better leader for one. He's mm-hmm. a better leader, and people love the way. Like they know what they're gonna get out of Dame. Kyrie he's has a championship. Loyal. Dame don't. He does, but he yeah, also plays with Dame has been swe- yeah, yeah, Listen, LeBron and Kevin Love. Dame is not a winner. He's just not. He's a great player, but he's not a winner. You, I, I think you'll say, you'll he say don't that. know how to close games. He can hit. That's what deep, he's known He for, can bro. hit deep shots, two close threes, right? But if that's taken away from he, he, only way he scores off that high pick and roll unless he gets a strong line drive to the basket. He's not changing that race. He's not making people better. I've seen him get shut down by Torrey Craig last year in the, when they were playing the Denver Nuggets, number three for the Denver Nuggets. He gave him issues. I've seen Rondo give him issues. I've seen Drew Holiday give him issues individually. Yeah. I've seen him be bothered <clears throat> with, in the playoffs. I know there, the people got to understand this. There's a different the. Season and the playoffs are two fucking different things, bro. Like, the season, I think, is more geared towards entertainment, keeping people involved. It's like a tour. It's a fucking tour. It's mm-hmm. a basketball tour. So. That's, that's what the NBA season is. You're going around. You go. It's just like a music. It's just like a music tour. I'm going to see Chris Brown. And he's going to get. He's going to do his thing, do his numbers. He's not going to do too much of what he normally do like he would at the Grammys. Right? Okay. But he. Even way. But he's going to do enough. 
to he's gonna go through his emotions. That's what you're saying, Dan. That's what the NBA season is. I'm just saying the NBA season as a whole is basically emotion. It's a long season. Of course, you have your game. Sometimes you get competitive a little bit, but overall, it's emotion. I mean, didn't, it's going didn't he just emotions. average fifty for like a? Then he just that's during the season. Like I said, I said during the season, it's it's a circus, it's a tour. Now the playoffs, he don't get injured a lot. Now the playoffs Mm -hmm. is real basketball. That's just what a lot of fuck shit that be going on during the season doesn't happen no more. That's why for the next topic, for the next topic, LeBron James is not going to win championship, and he doesn't win championships. Well, we'll save that for later. But Dame Lillard has been showing in the playoffs when it matters. You could slow him down. You could stop him and eliminate his for team. Starters, from for starters, he's in the Western Conference. So fuck where he is. He got swept no, by Rajon. And he got swept by the Pelicans, bro. They so easy to game plan for. Exactly. Yeah. So, for, no, the game you plan against Dane. You can't do that against Cleveland when Kyrie was there because he has LeBron. Listen, I think Come this on, question, I think, like the, I think the topic right. should be Dame Lillard versus Bradley Beal, to be honest. Because Kyrie's another fucking animal. Kyrie wow. has, because, one, Kyrie's more of an offensive threat than he is. And, and, and when, the, it, when it gets next, down to real basketball, Kyrie, give the ball to Kyrie. He that's basically he needs plays, no, he he needs no anyway. tricks. That's how he well, plays Well, he needs no Does tricks. Kyrie he needs no. Better? No. Huh? Does he make people better? How many, how many times you hear it, whether it's true or not, whether it's true or not, how many times no, do you no, hear it? No, I'm going to say he makes Kyrie. people better. But as a far overall basketball, I mean, that's one actual. Dave Lillard don't make people better either. If you really you, watch his bro, game, he, he, him, Dame bro. Lillard's pass is so all you, about the, his pass. So you Dame take, Lillard's pass. Kyrie's a better passer than so Dame Lillard. Would you take Kyrie? Yes, over Dame Lillard yeah, right yeah. now. Well, yeah. that's, well, that's obvious he would, but I'm saying because happened, at the end of the Boston, day, Kyrie, Kyrie, you just no, throw him bro. out there, he will close a whole goddamn game. What is that's what Dame Lillard? No, does. he don't. Yes, it is. No, you, in the play, in the playoffs, he has two walk off game winners for the series, not a game. That's two. That's a lot. That's a lot. How many does Kyrie got? You tell me. You Off the dribble? For Kyrie. <laughs> you oh, him for Kyrie. Uh, okay. You Kyrie got one. For Kyrie. Okay. Well, Bro. Kyrie got one to win a championship. That's fine. Yeah, LeBron yeah, on yeah, his nice team. No, uh, how many, yeah, ga- nice how many of those games did Kyrie? Thank you. How many of those games did Kyrie have to close while, while LeBron was running around doing his circus shit for three and a half quarters? And in the fourth quarter, that's why LeBron don't James know, don't, I don't win know now. Why you do, I don't know why you don't think LeBron's clear. Like He's not. Well. He, like, he that, that just started with the media in 2011. People was just saying, "No, that. I've been saying that." You know, I don't like the way LeBron James is played. I don't like the style of play. I know he's a great fucking player, but in the fourth quarter, when it gets down to real basketball, you take away the things that's given to his him. Last that's when is, his last season, his last season, his last season at Cleveland, how many game winners did okay, he have? I, I, that postseason? Okay, I'm like, not gonna say. Like, I'm not gonna on, say bro, he's bad. Game winners and here's what I'm gonna say. All the time. Here's what I'm saying. Can I say something real quick? Yeah, just real quick. I, I, I think in the seven. playoffs, when you throw different defensive schemes at players, right, you get to it's see what players. they're really made of. It's on players. Right. LeBron I think, I think everything. LeBron is not one of those players that can, that can overcome defensive schemes. Kyrie can because he's an overall fucking scorer. You just give him – Steph Curry you can because like he's an overall scorer. Yeah, Dame yeah, Lillard can every, every, because Dame Lillard has two things he tries to do. He has what? three things he tries to do. Three. Yes. The high screen and roll. As soon as he has, as soon as he crosses off court. Last uh, year was auto, Enos Katner. Auto, the high auto, screen and roll. He's looking for. That's what you're supposed to do. No. Okay. Auto no. Guard, okay. That's what you're supposed to do. High ball screen. Okay. I'm not saying that. Going. Create the mismatch. Can I finish my fucking statement, please? Oh, yeah. Please. I'm just saying. Stay Motherfucker. You're not. You're not. You saying all hey, that? Hey, come on. You about that. five seconds of getting on timeout. Okay. <laughs> Don't you interrupt <laughs> me while I'm fucking talking on this goddamn show. Okay. Disrespect me. My bad. My bad. My bad. Okay. My bad. Don't disrespect me in front of the company. Like we got somebody here. James Young. We're right trying there. to we're trying to look goddamn professional. We got we got guests. All right. What? Cut the camera. We got goddamn guests. Okay. Keep it tight. <laughs> I got you. But uh, nah. Dame Lillard. Now he got three things what he does. Like the high screen world, like you said, everybody tries to do it. And then like he'll okay, but he'll try to get to that long pull up, right? That long three, which is uh, that's and a it, great fight. Like, like, he's dope. But then you take that from him. In the okay, you take that from No, that's why he's in the league. You take that from him, and then he's going to that elbow. He's going to try to get to that elbow, and he's going to try to correct from there. If he doesn't get that, with Tory Craig was on him, he can't really finish. If he has a Who low... Can't finish? Can I, <laughs> can I finish? Can I finish? Yeah, I don't know. Can get I finish? point. <laughs> He has. He needs a load of space to create through traffic. He doesn't create through contact that well. If he has some space to load up, that's why he struggled against the Denver Nuggets. That's why he couldn't even beat the fucking Warriors, bro, without anybody. He couldn't Steph beat, beat the them Warriors. by himself. You know, KD was hurt. Clay who Thompson was hurt. The Warriors. Who could beat the Who could beat the Warriors? Though? That, that's if Clay like, Thompson's hurt of his sweeps of and Kevin Durant's so, out, you're not talking right? about nothing, bro. Who does the Warriors have? Draymond Green. 
and Steph Curry. That's enough that's to beat. Enough, yeah. That's enough to beat the fucking Clippers. I mean, the, the, uh, the, the Western Blazers. Crowd. They can't even beat the they Toronto no, Raptors. First of all, they have no playoff experience. Who? The Blazers. They don't have experience like... They, what do you the, mean? They've been the to the Warriors. playoffs the last like six years. He's been losing. Have the Warriors not been compared... Have the Warriors not right, been listen, called? Steph Curry is just that good. 73 games. 73, 73 games. They just bro. won 73 Who's, games. Uh, who was on their team? They have four All Stars. Who was on their team? Four All NBA Name players. Bro. Name them. The four All Stars. When they went 73 and nine. Name them. Steph Curry. Okay. Clay. Clay. Okay. Draymond, Draymond. All been All NBA. Draymond and who before. else? Iguodala. Okay. Where's Former Iguodala at now? MVP. Where's Draymond Green at now? The triple single machine. <laughs> the triple slam for a losing team. That is not a good team. But he's not even getting, he's not even, what? Hey, then it's not a good the, team. Who? Right the Warriors. Exactly. So for the for them to beat the Blazers fully healthy, when? went up like that. Last year, they only had Steph Curry and Draymond. Steph Curry beat, you remember the Blazers? They, Steph Curry beat that team by himself. He went crazy. I mean, sometimes you get. He, he's not even defensively it. doing anything. So you got beat by one man. You're supposed to be one of the best point guards in the NBA. Clay Hang it up. Huh? Clay was hurt. Yeah, he hurt. He, he tore his he ACL. Only, I thought that was in the fight. Like, no, nah, Clay got hurt and then he came back. Same, same with Kevin Durant. They didn't lose to the Warriors, did they? Uh, I guess they did. I don't know. What do you mean they didn't lose to the Warriors? The Warriors won the championship. So the Blazers lost to somebody. They either lost to the Nuggets, which they didn't, but Torrey Craig was giving him problems. And you know who won that series? I was talking to you on PlayStation about this last year. CJ McCollum. Yeah, another great CJ fucking McCollum on that. And just how, like, Frank, I've never Frank. heard of Scottie Pippen winning a series for Michael Jordan. He's helped. Kyrie Irving so has, Kyrie Irving has won. Huh? Kyrie, Kyrie Irving, Irving has won Frank, games. His team just James. went to the. His team just went to the. Game seven of the Eastern Conference Finals without against who? him. Against who? Okay, mean? I guarantee you this. Against LeBron. I guarantee you this. The, the only Le- reason they the lost. The Blazers will not LeBron. come out the second round this year. Not even. It's not, it's, it's, the it's West not, is better this year. I'm okay with that. Uh, uh, what's Dane Lillard? Super MVP. He should do something. He always got an excuse for him. Now we're transitioning to another player out the West no, who didn't no, make the no, playoffs no, last year. No, talk, go, go to Kyrie. You, you ain't just going to switch. You ain't just going to talk bad on Dame and not, not bring up okay, Kyrie. Okay, let's talk about Kyrie. Let's what what about, about Kyrie? He's Everywhere he's right? played, you hear reports, no, whether it's no, true or not. He played in Cleveland. He got a championship. He played in Brooklyn. He, he, reports, played Bro- like he played in Brooklyn. He played in Brooklyn. It's always some kind of locker room. Last year issue. he played at Celtics. They oh, they went to the Eastern team. Conference Championship. He ain't right? spoke this teammates in two weeks. <laughs> uh, he he was he was having beef before LeBron even got there. Him and Deion Waiters they didn't even get along. Where's Deion fucking Waiters at? It don't matter. It does matter. It don't. It don't. He needs dogs around here. Right. Kobe have Bryant got the, into it with all his teammates too. Kobe the Bryant the got into it with Shaq. Have the net. Have the net. Has Kobe Bryant not had the same sigma like to him over the years? Have the Nets been playing better without Kyrie this year? No. Spencer Dinwiddie looked like an MVP candidate with Kyrie. M- Spencer Dinwiddie looked. That's why they got rid of D'Lo. That, that didn't help. Spencer Dinwiddie was killing last year with D'Lo. Spencer Dinwiddie. They was better Kyrie than they are this year. Last year, man, you saying a yes, lot of things, was. bro? No, I'm not. Man, I'm you are. Kyrie Irving's a dog. Well, you he know, is a, Kyrie Irving got a championship ring. He is a dog. You mad because I'm? I like Dame over Kyrie. Yeah, man, I don't give a fuck who you like. You like Kyrie? Kyrie's Kyrie not a, like he's not a winner, bro. He's like he's not a winner. Why he got a championship? He played the second best Boston? player of all time. Huh? Did he win at Boston? He only played there one year. Can he have some more time? He didn't like that team he was playing with. Played there too. Hmm? Didn't he play there too? Who? Kyrie. No. Played one? He played one. I thought he played two. When he hurt. He was one. hurt. So he was on, on the team for two years, right? What happened those two years? He went to the playoffs. To he made some runs. Of Adam. That's what happened. Huh? <laughs> they went to game seven of the They were one game away from the finals. Look who the Kyrie. fuck they were playing. On... Uh, yeah, LeBron. What you mean? Exactly. Look at That's the okay. easy. You're playing against a player who didn't even make the playoffs last year. No, two years ago. I know. So you're making up. You're playing against a player that didn't Kyrie make the playoffs played last year, and, and then they LeBron struggled. James they got swept that up. year in the playoffs. They stunk and, it up last year. LeBron got year, swept without Kyrie. They stunk he went to the finals up. and got his ass swept. Name, name, that name, goes to show. Tell, this, me, tell listen, me he was without on the Kyrie. Other team. Can I say something? <laughs> without Kyrie Irving. Without Kyrie Irving. Here's what LeBron did. Clay Thompson, Kevin Durant, Draymond Green, Demarcus Cut. Oh yeah, you got oh, you got swept. Oh, the good. best player in the world. <laughs> the one of the best players ever. You got swept. You don't even win a game. And then to top that off, to follow you that got, up. You got a teammate to get a rebound right. and dribble to half court with the ball. Mm-hmm. He's been playing in the league for ten years. He don't know it's two seconds on the clock to get a shot up. He dribble to half court. And to follow that up, 
And to follow that up, right. and to follow he, up he LeBron, to follow up that's a vet. To follow that up, what did he do the next season? LeBron, he didn't make the playoffs. He got a vet on this team to get an offensive. He didn't make down. the playoffs last year. And what's he doing this he year? A, from the from the free throw line, great. he dribbled. That, that's all how the good way Kyrie is. Half court. That's, that's, that's a veteran on LeBron's team. When LeBron cool. had like 51, 12, and Win. something crazy versus Win. the Warriors, if they would have won that game, it would have been a different. There's a whole series. lot of Warrior, LeBron, Warriors. LeBron, if LeBron had won a lot of these games, he would have been. So now you don't like LeBron. No, I do like LeBron. He's, but I'm just critical on him. I just know that he's not going to win a championship. <laughs> Why are you hey, not he's critical on Kyrie? Huh? Why are you not critical on Kyrie? Can I think Kyrie will get another ring. With I who? think you with see who? Uh, with KD. What are you talking about? He just okay. We just talked they about better. Him. The Nets are better this season without him, bro. <laughs> the the Celtics are better. Look at Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown right now, going crazy. Kimba Walker, All Star starter. And they will never all of win them a have excelled since Kyrie. Who will win a championship left, first? That Brooklyn team with KD and Kyrie are the, uh, uh, the Celtics. The Celtics? I said Celtics. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah. Even though I love KD. Bro. What? What? What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the no. Celtics, bro. <laughs> you got the Celtics <laughs> before KD and Kyrie fucking Irving. Yes. Yeah. How many championships does the Celtics have? <laughs> How many how many championships does KD and Kyrie have between them three them two? They deeper than the How many how starters. many championships does K- Kyrie two? and KD have between them two? How many KD got two? Two. They three. got three. So they and how three. many championships does Jalen Brown and fucking Jason Tatum have? They, y'all just getting y'all getting league? caught up in the hype. How many years have they been caught, Ain't nobody caught up in the hype. In, a, in the season hype. Right? Ain't no season hype. They did not you know, won the championship for no KD. Fucking Kevin Durant. Tatum two years ago. And, Ke- and Kevin Durant, I mean, look, this Tatum's nigga Kyrie awesome. Irving is so good. He won a championship with LeBron James. That's some hard shit to do. That's when hard. Winning a championship. Can I say something? Let me say something. Let me say something real quick. This put. Can I say something? And this is just off the, off my head real quick. Dwayne Wade might be one of the greatest shooting guards in history number, of basketball. Number three. You know why? Because he number won three. two championships with LeBron James, number and that's three. fucking hard to do. And that man only had one knee. And you know, let me tell you why. Because. That nigga got a championship without that nigga, and and he got a championship without without uh, LeBron, and he and then he had Shaq right. LeBron right. had Shaq the very next year, and people say, "Oh, Shaq was old." He had Shaq the very next year. Shaq, and then he didn't even get close to win. So, in okay. order to win a championship with LeBron James, you got to be pretty fucking talented. Yeah. So, so you had a freak of nature ain't like Dwayne say, Wade, who already won Finals Kyrie MVP talented, without bro. LeBron James. He was a champion before LeBron James was. He was in the playoffs before LeBron James. My man, going with him. Dwayne Wade was actually Kyrie, do, better, Cleveland Cavaliers had a better team than what uh what than what my than what um the Cavs did when LeBron was at the Cavs, and the Wayne Wade was still doing a little bit better than him. When it came I mean, to that's crunch my time. favorite, I'm not going. I know you not. Favorite player. Yeah. And, and listen, can I say another thing? Derrick Rose almost beat his motherfucking ass. He had to go team up. Second favorite listen, if Derrick Rose way. didn't get hurt, and I hate to say this because I was a Cleveland fan at the time, if Derrick Rose didn't get hurt, they were going to beat them fucking. They was going to beat that team, bro. Probably that year or the next year. Because that nigga wasn't playing no games, bro. That D Wade, D- right. Derrick Rose wasn't playing no games that year. He won an MVP because he was mad after last year. He lost to Miami. Well, they, and he took him to like, he was killing them. It just, he uh, was killing the it Heat. Just, the series changed when they switched LeBron so, on, on D Rose. Yeah. I remember that. But they have no help. Right. So what I say to say, you have to be a talented fucking guard to win. That's how LeBron James went. He needs a very, very talented freak of nature fucking guard. Just like Kyrie. No matter if we're comparing Kyrie to Dane, there's still fucking some shit like we ain't never seen, right? So we got Kyrie. He had to help LeBron win. The same with Dwayne Wade. When LeBron Wade goes down, he gets a little older. LeBron James had to leave and go get go get with some new younger players. Kyrie left him. That that shit threw threw a wrench in the shit. He had to go somewhere else. He went to fucking Washington College to Lakers. He can't even get to the championship. He can't even get to the playoffs. And he had in, he had uh, all star players over there. Did he not? Brandon Ingram, Lonzo Ball playing out his mind. Uh, Kyle Kuzma won enough. That's my. You had Rondo. That's one of my problems with and LeBron. And so now, now, and now, what to do? Like, what now? What are they saying the Lakers need? Darren fucking Collison. But Darren thing, fucking Collison so is what they're saying they need. And now they're mad your that so your can. favorite player, Reggie, who might sign with the Clippers. Reggie Jackson. I'm not a fan of Reggie Jackson. But I hope the, he don't mess that see, up. See, LeBron just needs a guard. Reggie is Jackson that, that wasn't going. Guard, that, he wasn't going to help the Lakers, bro. I'm sorry. Huh? Reggie Jackson wasn't going to help the Lakers. Listen. Reggie Jackson wouldn't help nobody for one. Like, you know, for one. Like, who needs him? Like, they talk about these people like he's a championship plug. It's like, no. 
Yeah, I mean, but that's always been one of my Collison? problems with LeBron. It's like when but he needs scoring. when he no when he don't have exactly who he wants. Sometimes he pouts and and, and or that's he'll start, why I don't like him. He'll start he'll start putting out like you know you'll see the cryptic yeah. messages or whatever. I think or the it'll, should be able to play through all, all the it'll, it'll all of a sudden be a report of like. His camp don't like the coach or just just, oh, just silly stuff like that. So that's my only beef with LeBron. And, 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 that, and that, that's when I really start like He's a great player, but then I start to really dive into like why this man's not winning. Look at the guards he's had. He needs phenomenal guards. But, but now he has Anthony and, Davis. And, but no, no, here's he ain't what, heard of Pete because no, he got the he got exactly man, who he wants. So he playing hard as hell and all of that. Yeah, like, but you're gonna hear something in the playoffs when they start losing because here's what here's what he needs with championship. He needs a talented big like Anthony Davis, Chris Bosh, or Kevin Love, and he needs the fucking freaking nature scoring guard. Like you said, that's what he wants. pressure off him. That's what Kyrie did for him, though, for real. Yeah, like, as I mean, far as That's what Dwayne Wade did. Yeah. Dwayne Wade was out there doing a lot for that Miami team. On oh, one leg, creator. bro. He's not the best creator. You no, know, people are not really giving a toast to... Dwayne Wade might be finals MVP of, of those... Because he did a lot. As Wade, a Wade's, like, out of all the people you just named, his IQ's 10... I ain't gonna say 10 times higher, but his IQ higher than everybody you just named. Yeah. Like, Chris, Chris Bosh... Higher IQ than K Love, better better all around player. D Way better all around player yeah, than Kyrie. I'll take K Love over more Chris Bosh. I'll take K Love over Chris Bosh. For real? Yeah. No way. Oh, no can, way. it's not forget what Kevin Love was at Minnesota. Remember, no, they were saying he was better than Blake was Griffin was at one point. The Raptors. They were saying he was better than Blake Griffin. Okay, but they was also saying he. They were saying Kevin Love was better than Blake Griffin. Never got in the playoffs. Huh? So Minnesota was never getting in the playoffs. Who did he have? It don't matter. Look, it just does like you matter. Said, no, it don't. Because you saying the same no. thing for Dane. It's like, so it don't no, matter. No, 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 no. They matters. got to the playoffs. <laughs> LeBron didn't even make the playoffs last year. So, if he didn't yeah, make the playoffs last year, you get Anthony Davis. Now they're going to win the championship. <laughs> Rajon has Anthony Davis. They be, they're not winning no championship. They don't even use Rajon right. They don't use so Rajon. Who's championship this year? Who is going to win? Not the Lakers. I don't know who. If I have to bet Clippers, if they stay healthy. If everybody's healthy, I, See, I'm like Reggie Jackson might, he could, like, mess man, up. Reggie Jackson, man, fuck because, him. Bro, nah, fuck he's him. another, like, ball dom- somewhat of a ball-dominant guard. You need the ball to score. He's not exactly, yeah. like, a knockdown shooter. And you got Lou Will coming in off the bench. Him and Trez got You know they what the thing. Lakers really wanted? And here's what people are not talking about. Why is everybody not signing with the player? The only player LeBron got to play with him is one that they had to rip over there because of clutch sports and yeah, all that yeah. shit. They had to trade all the. They had to get rid of a whole damn team. Look what they gave I would up. Play, I mean, I would, I would, you know, it's not easy playing with superstars, though. No, it's, it's not, not. But, but. It's not. You can't but, name one superstar. But nobody like, wanted to go over it. Like, everybody's going to the Clippers. <clears throat> Like, think about this all season, how many people LeBron was expected to get. And he got none of them. He's not even getting motherfuckers in the hell. Darren Collison. They don't need Darren nobody. They number one in the West. Collison didn't even want to. Uh, listen, this is a free ride to a championship. Frank. They a know. free ride to a championship. And the nigga <laughs> said, no, I'd rather stay retired. Frank. They and don't. you just said that you get extra money for winning. This nigga's retired. It's like, you know what? I can come play with LeBron James. This is a piece of cake. This nigga looked and sat with the owner of the of the league and said, nah, <laughs> no, I'd rather just sit back and stay retired. That's, that's too much work. They, they don't need nobody. They're number one in the West. Then why they try to get all these guards? They know they need somebody. They were number one in the East. They talking about signing Mo Harkless now. Who's leaving, uh, about to get bought up by the Clippers, by the way. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm just, I'm just. What's he, what's he going to do? So they're just getting a whole bunch of hand-me-downs, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want Rondo for them two years. Because they wanted Kimba. Kimba signed with fucking Boston. Having a great season, by Yep, great season. Because Kimba knew I'm not going over LeBron. All and then they was like, oh, we're Rajon. They gave this man a two-year contract. And then they complained about him. All, all parties are winning, bro. They number one in the West. LeBron's now, happy. Why are they looking for themselves? Because they know come the playoff time. Because the, cause the games that they... Because like I said, it's a tour. The games that they have played that was playoff atmosphere... They lost. Like those Clipper games with playoff atmosphere game. You're going to get some tests. Just like, oh, like, time it's like you're going to have some tests during the season oh, okay. that, that you might see in that championship like, league. Like, run. like that time Dane beat him. He ain't like that. Dane beat who? Uh, the, Lakers. the Lakers. Huh? Dane, when he beat the Lakers a couple weeks ago. The Kobe. The Kobe, the Kobe, Kobe night. He like and here's what I say about that, okay? Like, mm? Here's what I got to say about that. I like Dane Lillard. I do. I love Dane Lillard. I'm just, no. I just don't think he, his, 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 his style of play translates to winning. But here's what Kyrie I said about Dame. I'll be honest. Like I like Kyrie better, but I think we did, we just need to figure out what Dame needs on his team to win. I don't player. think that's necessarily a yeah. winner like that. It's like LeBron. Some players player. you just put out there, they're going to win. Like Ka- 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 Kawhi Leonard, he going to win with any team. 
You yeah. just need a couple shooters. For sure. You know what I'm saying? I just don't. No, that's the only thing that. with Dame. But Dame did. You know what's so crazy? Than LeBron James took Kawhi's upon LeBron players, James man. took upon himself to put this Kobe thing on his shoulders, and I'm gonna carry the league. And Dame Lillard, fuck it. For one, he lost on the Kobe <laughs> Memorial night. After this whole night, you, you gave this whole call speech, that, bro. They, everybody's mourning, bro. Like, and, on, and the bro. other team was mourning too. <laughs> not as much as Brian. <laughs> See, that, that's the problem. Well, what do you mean not as much as Brian? Because he felt like the, the Brian is nothing to Kobe, bro. The person that, <laughs> the person on, that, on, no, no. Let me tell you, the, no. And this is all the way around. This, think, this can go towards your argument. Think, you know the person who probably think. feels Kobe the most is Dame Lillard. That's what Kobe represents right there. I'm fucking killing. <laughs> Not what the fuck LeBron's doing. He's just talking and losing. He's losing right now. He's, oh, shit, he loses. He lost on a Memorial Night. That's it embarrassing. Happens. It happens. It's not no, that they don't happen. They number Listen, one in Kobe the Bryant right? on his last game willed himself to sixty fucking points. That's mama mentality. Okay. <laughs> now that, that's a representation of Kobe. Not fucking giving a speech and losing. That's what he does. Bro, it's no different than like the uh, the night people get their rings. And then they get blown out. <laughs> they don't deserve it. <laughs> what are you talking about? LeBron gave a speech into the whole nation. The whole <laughs> and lost. And listen. And yeah. then and then Dave Miller turned around and gave him fucking sixty. Yeah, yeah. how many have so, so so who is so sixty? So who's this who does it sound like the mama's living through right now? It's and that no fucking LeBron. LeBron <laughs> he puts out a he's like he's like Zion Wade, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He be clout chasing like a bitch. I'll be saying like, why do you need a clout chase? Zaire Z- uh, Z- Wade that played for uh, Dwayne Wade, son that played with LeBron James, son of Sierra mm-hmm. Kenny. He's the biggest clout chase in the world, bro. <laughs> for real? Yes, bro. Like everything. Even he'll go on and have two points. He'll make sure he'll look at the camera. Go do all this. Flat, 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 and all that shit. And then he'll post. He'll post this that. Like he's a clout chaser, bro. He commented on Bootsy's post. Hmm. He was like, man, y'all got it all fucked. He's everywhere, bro. That's how LeBron is, bro. LeBron and Zaire are one of the same, bro. You see, Bronny, Bronny James is a dog. He's like, he got more D-Wade than him. D-Wade is a dismiss cool. LeBron, bro. Like, he wasn't, like... D-Wade like, is a like, quiet... He's a, like, he's top dog. five, top two player of all time. Who? LeBron. LeBron. Top five. That's fine. I'm not mad Would you ever treat him like he's... Top ten. 78. Is he better than Larry Bird? He's no, more, I would say so. he's just more. No, <clears throat> my my ninety and this is about rap. My nineteen ninety comparison of LeBron James is Charles Oakley. <coughs> <coughs> Anthony <What>? Mason. <laughs> what? Anthony Mason. <laughs> what? Dale Davis. <laughs> Who? Dale Davis. <laughs> <laughs> he got no moves. That little shrimp. <laughs> LeBron's not winning the championship this year, like I said, and I just had all the cold hard facts to why he's not winning. So if he does win, you're gonna play this tape back. <clears throat> but if he wins, I don't have to year. worry about that. He's not winning. Who's winning? I don't know. But uh I'm pretty much running out of topics for today. Anything else happening in the news? Then we just freestyle before we close. Pop smoke. Oh yeah, RP Pop Smoke. That's fucked up. And uh RP Kobe. I wanna know what to say about that. It's just like <clears throat> you gotta be careful out here, man. Yeah. As an artist, like I was just talking to B about that today. Like, like you out of town, bro. Like, you... well, people got quit posting. They look like cer- certain people got to know. I don't know if it was him or his friend that was posting the location. Yeah, but like yeah. you got to know, especially if you somebody like flashing it money. It seemed like out there, you out there to party. I be, I'm pretty sure the label they, probably sent you out there to fucking. They just came work. around and said it was a target. Like, like yeah, I saw they, that. They wasn't trying to but, rob them. It was just. I don't know what beef he had or whatever, but yeah. it was something. I mean, because, I mean, you rarely they, hear that. I mean, you know, it's rapper, so you do get. You rarely hear it because motherfuckers are usually on their shit. Yeah, but it's usually. You got to be when you're out there. You're 19 years old. You're 20 years old. You're going out there. For one, I think when you go out of town, like, you did this proves the show, you got to strap up, fuck out on parties. You got to go out there. You got to handle fucking How do they treat business. y'all over there, Chris? Like, it's for, uh, y'all got them both different? Or like, well, nah, 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 nah. For the most part, it's only it, it's only like like robbery games if, if you play for certain clubs <clears throat> like uh well you gotta have like police escorts and, and that kind of stuff like i've been in the game i remember when i was in belgium like i want to say like four years ago it was a team who like dominate the league every year and we beat them on their home court in one of the uh, games in the series 
And before the game was finished, fans just started throwing, throwing stuff on the court. So we had to like stop the game and leave the court. But like some of them games, like it's, it's two teams in Greece. The, uh, one of them, AJ Slaughter used to play for. Uh, when they play, they rivals is like Olympiacos and Panathinaikos, which is uh, Panathinaikos where Rick Pitino is. Um, they have to have like a, a huge like net, like to stop, stop throwing stuff. Yeah, so people don't throw stuff, and you'll see like like fire. You know what I'm saying? Torches and fires, and like fans <laughs> be scrapping. Like yeah, so they did they, be, like, did they ever get dope. that car made of you with the the print? Uh, I got the picture you talking about with my face on the on the window. Yeah, they, like they they got these cars they got to drive with like <clears throat> their own face on the windows. And Diddy was mad about like I, we complained I, our way we complained our way out of that one. So okay. it's like Diddy was so fucking hot, dog. They got <clears throat> so you guys your drive around. And most people want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like you trying to promote something, <laughs> but as a basketball player, he's trying to chill. You know what I'm saying? What like, movie was that? Bro? We rolled down the window and it was him. It was like yeah. Ricky Bobby. <laughs> 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 like, Diddy was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the the sponsors got mad because we almost cost them like the the uh, sponsor. Like I think it was Toyota. We uh, almost cost them the sponsorship deal because we was all complaining. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> man, it's it, weird though to just ride around. That's what you said. Like, I mean, was, back in the day, music people used to ride around in cars. Like, dog. Like, you know, you can't like just think about but, all the stuff that you do and think about what you can't do now because your face is on the car. Like, if you want to drive somewhere like go to the mall or let's say you want to go out and party or something uh well chris is here oh what's he doing here you know what i'm saying like what you can't you can't do nothing yeah you, you won't go you won't go chill you won't go chill with a shorty or something like what, what's he doing over here you know what i'm saying you can't you can't you can't do like you can't do, just think about all the stuff that you do on an everyday basis i'm at home no, you're not. No, you're not. And I just see your car. See your face over it. And then, it's crazy. Yeah. So, like, now, like, we, would, we like, everybody made, like, a post about it, like, a Instagram story or Snapchat, whatever. And, uh, like I said, we almost cost them that sponsorship deal. So, they uh, finally took now the, they finally took the face off the car. But now they have, like, big team logo. And... <clears throat> Like the the team color stripes, so our colors are blue, white, and green. So you can see like the stripes, you see the team logo, and then now it has our signature on the car and our jersey number. So it's still like you know what I'm <laughs> saying. Your birthday so up I was driving the other day, and like I had stopped at like a uh, like a roundabout, Damn. and I'm looking in the in the uh, mirror, and I see like a kid. He's like on his phone. You know what I'm saying? He's on his phone. And you yeah. can tell he's like taking a picture or a video. So I'm just like waiting, waiting, waiting. Bing notification. It's a picture of me driving. Like, come on, dog. Like, yeah, like I they, will, they will not know it's you. I promise you. Yeah. <laughs> We're just gonna put your name right here. Well, so uh, so one, one of the players on our team who played who played uh, played for this team last year, he put it in this contract. Like, don't put nothing with the team on the car. So he just has like the uh, the logo of the like the league that we play in. He just has that. So he don't have like his name or signature or jersey yeah. number or nothing on the car. But I'm about to find this picture for you. Before we wrap <clears> things <throat> up, uh, two things. One, you said something interesting to me the other day. You said that uh, you would check Jay Scrub over Denny uh, Vija. That's big time right there because you played against him. You played with him. That's big time to say like Jay's actually like top five. <laughs> That's funny, right there. Yeah, I mean, it's not saying Jay's top five. It's just I like. I mean, he got to be top five in this class in this draft class. Yeah, I mean, whatever. Regardless of what he is, I mean, I I take him over. uh Avicii. Yeah, he got plus Jay got more like star potential. You like, I mean, he could. You don't like. You never know. He could he come yeah, over get to the league and as, turn as, up. You know what I'm saying? Right like, now, I don't know. Yeah, just like, yeah, me right Jay. now. I, I prefer. That's I funny prefer Jay. me saying these highlights. I would think he's born. In, Coldest thing since sliced bread, bro. But highlights can make it. Yeah. Let Tariq Black, <laughs> like Tariq, Tariq, Tariq Black, yeah. right there. There goes Scotty Wilbekin. Last High, thing I was gonna get your opinion Israel. about is uh, my fault. This is the All Star break, real quick. I showed you the pictures. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's oh, yeah. Straight, yeah, send it to me. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> what did y'all think about the All Star break? <laughs> the game. Mm-hmm. The game. All Star weekend. I think Overall, NBA, NBA like, finally got a win. What about the dunk contest, three point shootout, all that? I didn't watch Skills Academy, the rookie sophomore challenge. The contest always going to be the same. But yeah. then they add like a rack that's just all money balls. Like that's dope. Do you think they should add a one-on-one contest? You think that will help? 
I mean, I don't really care for one on one. But what if it did for like I each mean, spot? I mean, the fans want to see it. The fans want to see it. I I'm think sure, I'm sure, like, I'm three sure dribbles. the fans want to see it. I think I'll be more and more interesting because dunk contest is just whack. <clears> but <throat> the All Star game itself, bad. you guys are a fan of. You want to yeah. see that back? The dunk contest went bad though. Like, I mean, it, it's only. It's I didn't gonna watch be, it. It's, so. it's going to be what it is. I mean, there's only so many dunks you can do. Facts. But uh, until they bring some, you know, what I think they should do. They should do like dunkers. NBA players versus like street dunkers. Those street dunkers, they they be having Team it players, on there. Yeah, they they, they be real NBA deal. players don't want don't risk don't want They be no, having no, it on two K. They don't want no smoke at that. They don't want no smoke at that. No, they don't embarrass them NBA players. Because them little dudes is like them little dudes is like six feet too. Yeah, they can. Them little dudes like five eleven. They can't really play basketball. They're like home gold trotters. Yeah, but the overall game. That was the best. That was the best. Like, the overall fourth quarter. Yeah, he I mean, me. Yeah, that was yeah. a bad yeah, fourth quarter. Was lit. That third quarter was alright too because they was playing for the yeah, money. Yeah, it was alright. That first half kind of I was like, yeah. but it, I guess I was kind of do the show. But they really started playing because you seen like Luka Doncic, Trey Young, people like that were out the game. It was all like oh, NBA geez, vet, yeah. yeah, decision makers. It wasn't even about like it was about oh, IQ. It, it, it looked like a street game, like when when the games on the line and niggas is fouling and you know you know who started that format, don't you? Who? Oh. Oh. The TBT. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and, then Ice Cube, oh, yeah. and then Ice Cube adopted it. Who, who posted that? Uh, who uh, who suggested Ice, that? Well, Ice Cube was NBA. posting that he wanted. Like, Chris Paul did. Chris Paul did. What? Chris Paul suggested well, that for the All-Star game. He's on the board. Oh, no. Yeah. Kyrie just uh, became vice president of it, too. Damn right. Uh, <laughs> he going to get hurt yeah, doing that? The, the, TB, the TBT, they... Um, Chris Paul's been hooping this year. The TBT been going yeah. for like four years yeah, or no, five years. Watch. I've been waiting to see you in it. Well, I've been... You Ain't know, no way. I've had a couple offers. I don't understand that. Now, I don't understand why we don't have a team from... I tried. I want to do tried. one. We tried, huh? remember? I want to do one. We were, I, so, we were super close like two years ago. How can ago I help make with, that happen? With, with Doe. I'm going to ask Doe. I'm going to text him. Well, you're you already behind because they already like got the teams pretty much. You do that every year. Do you said this last year. So, it's gonna, no, y'all going to do it this year. I'm not talking about the TB. I'm not talking about Doe. Oh, yeah. No, I talked to somebody. <clears> we, too missed our, we missed our window. <laughs> That's over. It's over now? Too old? So, I would bet. And I wanted to see yeah, y'all really team. like... Go and I play. Think, I, I think re- we would have been fine. We only would have needed like a. Actual I really big. wanted to see that. Wait, Rajon would have played or he would have coached? Nah, NBA players can't play. Okay. <sighs> yeah, y'all didn't have you know, that dude, Dre McAlser, man. Jonathan Simmons was out there. Who? Last, uh, year, uh, last year. But he won in the NBA last year. I right? know, that's what's crazy, but didn't nobody know that. Mm. What about Dre McAlser? You make no big Dre? Dre McWhorter. McWhorter. Big Dre like be in Southeast? I don't mm. know. I don't know him like that. There's some big guys like, I don't know the same way. But anyway. They're going to get some dogs. <laughs> Anything else you want to close up with me before we leave? Nah, man. No? Well, I got something for you. He, he's retarded. You don't want these cards? Where can you pick that up at? See, um, see I got, I'm the host with another host when I'm doing the most. I got to promote for him. Go ahead. But you no, you know everything. You got 10 seconds. FisherBSim.com, SimCity on Instagram, S-I-M-M-C-I-T-I. Um, and go get these on official BCM. Make sure you get this. I'm promoting this for him, okay? You got any, any music you want to promote? Yeah. It's what? also on the site, officialbcm.com. See, how you a rapper and have no no real music to Buck, what the hell are y'all doing in that studio, man? That's why I asked him. He's like, I'm in the studio every day, 70 songs. Drop the shit. Well, yeah, that's the thing. I say, I don't like that word. It's coming. I want to see it. I'm a fan. A fan? I want product. I don't want to go to McDonald's and say, hey, I ordered a burger. It's coming. I don't want it to come. I ordered it. I paid for it. I want it now. I follow you, right? I'm going to follow you too. And as followers, I want to see production. I want to see product. I want to hear about it. I want to see on Instagram talking about what you guys are going to do and what you're doing. I want to see it. I want to hear some heat, okay? And them freestyles, good. you got to keep them coming every day, B, for real. I'm a fan. You see his freestyle? <clears throat> freestyle Remember? guy. Freestyle guy. King, freestyle king, man. Keep them coming every day, bro. Quit letting up on these motherfuckers, man, because you're letting it easy. You got too much goddamn skill. Put I told on neck, B. At they neck, bro. I told him to freestyle every day. Don't even write nothing. Just wake up because he's so dope. He can spit it off the head. He can rap about shit that just happened in this motherfucker. Like, do it every day. Every single day, wake up. Make sure. Do it with your coffee. Had your coffee right there. You got a nice little setup. You don't need no extra cameras. No extra. You got a nice little setup with your mic. It looks good. Just keep it fucking coming. Do you hear me, son? My, my I, son. Well, yeah, I've raised him. I've been knowing him since like you know 1999. I kind of raised him. Frank, you know, tell, tell me about that time. A, actually, we a, before <laughs> but, hold on before before we close this out, we actually got a connection here. I just thought about BTP. 
Let's Very talk about that. Very 187. Hold up, baby. Both of you guys have got your hair cut by Barry. By Bill. By Bill. Yes. <laughs> That's why they both had on hats and bandanas. Because he <laughs> fucked them up for life. <laughs> he fucked them up back in. He fucked them up back in 2001. Bill, Bill, legendary man. Yeah, He's Bill. a legendary and very talented. He's he very like talented. Right Bill, Bill had hey, a nice little shot, can we, can we, you two, can we just have you two kind of conversating about a uh, you know Converse. Barry Town a little bit? Just experience some history? Barry Town. Barry Town is. What, it, it's your it Barry Town connection. Used to be lit. You two talk. Talk about Barry Town day. I ain't seen the apartment, the new apartment shit. Yeah, they they got so nah, I just that's the end of the show. We get now, into that nah, bullshit. I just now so. saw it. I just now <laughs> saw it when I got back the other day when uh when I like well, it's over. Yeah, 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 we ain't talking about Barry Town. Like, <laughs> put it in, fellas. Put it in. Everybody put it in. Come on, bump. Put it in. Bump. All right. Bump right here, bump. Frankie on three. One, two, three. Frank. Frank. Let's go. Hell, man. What? Frank. <laughs>